welcome to Stock Wars Diamond Hands Edition. This battle between hedge fund annihilating stock combatants will determine who seizes Diamond Hands immortality and is the most attractive, speculative, hedge fund busting option going forward. The first Stock Wars combatant is GameStop. GameStop is a specialty retailer that provides games and entertainment products through its e-commerce properties and various stores in the United States, Canada, Australia, and Europe. As of January 30th, 2020, it operates 4,816 stores. The company was founded in 1996 and is headquartered in Grapevine, Texas. They sell new and pre-owned video game platforms, accessories such as controllers, gaming headsets, virtual reality products, memory cards, new and pre-owned video game software, and in-game digital currency. They also sell digital downloadable content, full game downloads, as well as network point cards, and prepaid digital and subscription cards. The second combatant is AMC Entertainment. AMC Entertainment Holdings, through its subsidiaries, is involved in the theatrical exhibition business. The company owns, operates, or has interest in theaters. As of March 12, 2021, it operated approximately 1,000 theaters and 10,700 screens in the United States and internationally. The company was founded in 1920 and is headquartered in Leewood, Kansas. Let the battle begin between these Diamond Hands legends. GameStop is currently trading at $151.18 and is up over 3,116% in the last year. Over the last five years, GameStop is up over 360%. AMC, our other Diamond Hands debutante, which is trading at $10.16, is up over the last year, seeing an increase of 226%. With that said, AMC is down 63% over the last five years. Now let's look at which combatant may perform better going forward based on its current valuation. The first item to compare is market cap. Market capitalization, commonly called market cap, is the market value of a publicly traded company's outstanding shares. Market capitalization is equal to the share price multiplied by the number of shares outstanding. Market cap is probably the least important metric in stock wars, but it is an indicator of public opinion of a company's net worth and is a determining factor in some forms of stock valuation. From a market cap perspective, GameStop is the larger company with $9.87 billion compared to $2.28 billion for AMC. Both are Wall Street Bets favorites, but GameStop takes the first metrics comparison in this Stock Wars battle with about $7.6 billion more in market cap. The second Stock Wars metric comparison is revenue. Revenue is the income generated from normal business operations. It is the top line or gross income figure from which costs are subtracted to determine net income. Who generates more revenue in this epic Stock Wars showdown? In 2020, GameStop had $5.09 billion in revenue, while AMC came in at $1.24 billion in revenue. GameStop wins the second consecutive metric in this battle against AMC. The third metric comparison in Stock Wars is further down on the income statement. Net income or profit. Profit describes the financial benefit realized when revenue generated from a business activity exceeds the expenses, costs, and taxes involved in sustaining the activity in question. For the third metric in this Stock Wars battle, GameStop takes the win with negative $215 million in profit, while AMC came in at $4.58 billion in losses. GameStop has now won the first three metrics in this epic Stock Wars battle of diamond hand stocks. Knowing the profit for each combatant transitions into the next metric in this Stock Wars comparison, profit margin. 
profit margin is one of the commonly used profitability ratios to gauge the degree to which a company or business activity makes money. It represents what percentage of sales have turned into profits. GameStop comes in with a profit margin of negative 4.22%, while AMC is at negative 369.35%. For the fourth metric in a row, GameStop wins. Both corporations have awful profit margins, as one would expect during the year-long global health and economic crisis. As the stock wars rage between these Diamond Hands favorites, GameStop maintains a 4-0 lead in this battle and the fifth metric is in sight, 3-year revenue growth. Revenue growth illustrates sales increases or decreases over time. It is used to measure how fast a company is expanding or contracting. AMC comes in with a 3-year revenue growth of negative 35.6% while GameStop wins the fifth metric in a row with a three-year revenue increase of negative 2.4%. As the two Wall Street Bets darlings battle for supremacy, 52-week price performance emerges as the sixth metric in this Stock Wars showdown. This is the percentage change in the company's stock price over the last 52 weeks. When examining the 52-week price performance, GameStop comes in with an increase of 3,116%, while AMC boasts an increase of a little over 226%. GameStop comes out on top for the sixth time in this Stock Wars matchup. Moving on quickly to the seventh metric, the two Diamond Hands darlings will compare current ratios. The current ratio is a liquidity ratio that measures a company's ability to pay short-term obligations or those due within one year. It tells investors and analysts how a company can maximize their current assets on the balance sheet to satisfy its current debt and other payables. GameStop clocks in with a current ratio of 1.16. AMC, on the other hand, sees their current ratio at 0.31. The higher the current ratio, the better. Therefore, GameStop takes this Stock Wars metric with a slightly higher current ratio. The last metric is the debt to equity ratio in this special Stock Wars Diamond Hands contest. The debt to equity ratio is calculated by dividing a company's total liabilities by its shareholder equity. These numbers are available on the balance sheet of the company's financial statements. GameStop sees a debt to equity ratio of 2.4 and AMC comes in at negative 3.95. While both are pretty dismal, GameStop gets the better of this metric and wins another one. In this special Stock Wars Diamond Hands Edition battle, GameStop won 8 metrics compared to AMC who won 0. GameStop is the decisive winner of this epic Stock Wars battle of Diamond Hands darlings. GameStop wins the overall Stock Wars battle from a metric standpoint in a huge blowout in this Stock Wars Diamond Hands Edition episode. That being said, both companies are overvalued at current prices and need to have multiple items transpire with the economy for them to recover long term. GameStop needs to restructure their business model to refocus on online gaming and AMC desperately needs customers to return to theaters. If you missed the first seven episodes of Stock Wars matchups, please check them out and let me know what you think. I'll leave links in the description. Stay tuned for future Stock Wars episodes and please like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any future episodes. Comment below if there's a particular battle you'd like to see. Until next time. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. The opinions expressed in this video are solely for educational and entertainment purposes. Any stock purchases I show on video should not be considered an investment recommendation. Investing involves risk and you should do your own research. For investment advice, please seek the counsel of a financial investment advisor.